Hello and welcome to the Elephant and Castle here in the heart of London for Time for Deliverance 2. The lineup for tonight's show is Jason Woodham versus Danny Harris at welterweight, Paddy Ivers versus Danny Taylor for the WMC Five Nations Super Lightweight title, Alenka Hola versus Beniz Aldis, Colm Gillaney versus Jim Perrier, and Daniel Brissett versus Paolo De Silva. Let's join our MC, Lawrence Allen. Coming into the red court. Now the crowd are waiting for a ladies' contest, the IMKO Super Featherweight title, over five two-minute rounds at 58 kilograms. Should be a cracker, this one. Yeah, both fighters looking evenly matched on the shoots in front of me here. But he's coming to the ring with 10 fights and unbeaten. Here she comes now. Smile on her face. She's obviously very comfortable here from Kettle's gym. Purposefully strolls to the ring. Nice and relaxed, nice and focused. Just gains her composure. And climbs in for battle. Great reception from the crowd, as you'd expect for a Kent fighter. The other contestant for this vacant IMKO Super Featherweight title, Super Featherweight English title, trains at Cambridge Free Fight. She's coming in the blue corner. Now welcome please, Elena Hora. And Elenka Hola makes her way to the ring. She's also got a very impressive record. How will she do tonight this against all this? A contest of five rounds, two minutes each round, to decide the vacant IMKO Super Featherweight English title. In the red corner from Kettle's Gym Kent, Bernice Aldis. In the blue corner from Cambridge Free Fight, Elena Hora. Referee for the contest, Mike Murphy. Again, very evenly matched, very exciting little bout this. Yeah, both girls looking full of confidence. And there's always the thing about the ladies' fights. Alenka Hola there in the white gloves. Good start from her, fast hands. Tigerish approach. Can she take Bernice Aldis' unbeaten record? Punches raining in, great work rate here in the first round. But Bernice Aldis comes straight back at her. Yeah, both girls evenly matched on paper. Although Alinka is coming out faster than the other. They're both stepping back now, assessing each other, looking for that opening. Bernice drops her hands confidently. Bit of showboating there, trying to show she's in command of this bout. Nice round out and intercepted, good block. Height and reach advantages with the fighter from Kettle's Gym in Kent. Looks very comfortable using those knees, Bernice. Bernice, of course, slightly more experienced. I don't think Alenka Hola can afford to stand off here against a much taller opponent. Needs to keep her work rate going, needs to keep moving. Seems to be standing on the spot, she put looking an for opening. She put an awful lot into that first 30 seconds, that opening burst. Yeah. And suddenly Bernice Aldis is taking control. Bernice is very relaxed, very confident. See by the way she drops her gloves. High round ass kicks at her command. And already, Alenka Hola looks a little bit tired, maybe a little bit intimidated. At the end of the first round. Good opening session there. Do you give that one to Benise? 
I give that round to Benice. Alenka started very well. As you say, came out like a tiger. It seems to have slowed down. Don't know what the problem is there. So difficult. Benice seems so composed under pressure. And it is tiring, obviously, attacking like that. Very tiring indeed. Very tiring. Nice. Round two. Second round again. Alenka Hola starts strongly as she did in the first round. Punches, high kicks. Very good. Vicious right attack. Both tumble over, no harm done. Bernice, obviously a character, looks out the ropes into the crowd and comes straight back with a terrific right hand punch. She just looks so relaxed in there. Bernice is very, very relaxed, very confident. Alenka needs to focus now. Very good attacks, but a bit wild. Shots not going on target. She's not picking her targets. And she was hit with a good body kick there. Obviously felt it. Her punches are slowing down slightly. Hola's punches. She's on the back foot now all the time. Bernice commanding the centre of the ring. Looks like a low blow there. Hola sending out distress signals to the referee, Mick Murphy. She's obviously not happy. Mick gives her some time to recover. But the way her gum shield's falling out of her mouth, she looks tired already. She's very tired, yeah. Her work rate from the time she started in the second round. Oh, she's coming back. But that could only have given Bernice encouragement. Very much so. I think we'll find it's going to be it. Kick went through to the kidneys as Hola turned around. She felt it, but she has to go on. Bernice ever so relaxed in the corner, in the neutral corner. Straight back in the attack. Although Hola looks like she's woken up a little bit. She's not beaten yet. Certainly been spurred on by now now. That little breather is maybe what she needed to take stock of the situation. Good kick goes in there from Bernice Ordis. Definitely felt that one. And just a bit dispirited, very tired. They've set a very good pace. Just a bit of a resigned look on Hola's face. But she won't give up. He's coming back again, good punches. She tries to throw all this. But in fairness, all this does look a division above her. Very much so. Alenka is very tired walking back to her corner. But she's wondering now what she can do next. Well, she's tried coming forward, she's tried going backwards. What advice would you give her? Now I've got to try and fight outside the opponent. There are only two ways to fight, inside or outside. She needs to try and fight outside her opponent now. But surely with reach and height disadvantages, that's a difficult task. It's a very difficult task. She's getting no, no response from the inside fighting. Again, Bernice Aldis looks so relaxed. High kicks, perfect punches, expertly delivered. She looks like a veteran. Very relaxed. Don't even. <laughs> Referee steps in, breaks him again. The whole composure of Bernice is absolutely superb. A little bit of showboat again, trying to bring her onto the knee. Again, bringing the crowd to life with her showboating. Hola will not give up at all. So much character this lady's showing. Felt that one. Again, the grimace on her face. Superb moves running in there. 
and at the moment it's becoming a little bit one-sided very much so i think that could be it the chance to be thrown and mcmurphy respects that she gave everything credit to her she might have quit in the end her corner might have thrown in the towel but she gave everything she certainly did she certainly came here to win but i think Benice was just too much for her at the end of the day Benice was full of composure throughout the entire fight Super featherweight British champion from Kent. Unbelievable. British Benice doesn't even seem to be breathing heavy. She is definitely a lady Benice to watch. Lots and Sophie lots of potential. But credit to Elenka Hola for trying her best in a hard-fought battle. Very tough opponent, Benice. She now goes and makes her 11th fight unbeaten. Is there anyone who can test her? Not that I'm aware of at the moment. I see that the young lady now, Elena Hola, has been... So should someone like Bernice Ordis be looking to fight abroad more often and kind of expand her horizons? Almost definitely. Uh, I would say now she's got to be looking towards Europe and even as far as Thailand for her fights. Again, great sportsmanship after a great little battle. It's nice to see the camaraderie between the camps.